spurious continentals. In my last article, I gave examples of the process now in progress in the several provinces of Ireland among the people generally changing their original names into names apparently English or Scotch. There are others in Ireland among the genteel classes who have changed their old Milesian names in such a manner as to give them a French or Spanish appearance. And the adopters of these names now wish to be deemed as a French or Spanish origin, anything but Irish. These, it is true, are few in number, but some of them are respectable and their effort at concealing their origins is not to be recommended. We shall therefore exhibit a few instances of this mode of rendering Irish names respectable looking by giving them a foreign aspect, which the bearers cannot by any effort give to their own faces. The most remarkable of these changes has been made by the family of O'Dory in the west of the county of Galway, who have assumed not only the names of Darcy, but also the arms of the Darcys of England. But it is well known that the Darcys of Galway are all descended from James Rhea Darcy of Galway, merchant whose pedigree I know to be traced by Donald MacFurtibus, not to the Darcys of Mead, who are of Anglo-Norman origin, but to the Milesian Odores of West Connacht, who were the ancient chiefs of Port Rhea, a well-known territory extending from the lakes of Loch Mask and Loch Cora westwards in the direction of Crow Patrick. The next instance of this kind of change which I shall adduce is found in the adjacent county of Mayo, where a gentleman of the ancient and celebrated family of O'Malley wishes his friends to call him not O'Malley, for that is Irish, but de Malay. But though his friends condescend sometimes to call him by this name, they can scarcely refrain from laughter while pronouncing it, for they know very well that he descends from Owen O'Malley, the father of the famous heroine Grania Well, and chief of Umalia, or the Owls, in the reign of Queen Elizabeth. The third instance I have met with of this false Irish vanity is in the far-famed Tommond, where a gentleman of the O'Malronies has followed the plebeian corruption of that name by which it is metamorphosed to Moroni, by which he affects to pass one not of Irish, but of Spanish descent. And he cannot prevent his neighbours from calling him Umurana when they speak the native language, for by a strange corruption in that part of Ireland, where the Irish language is in most other instances very correctly pronounced, when the prefix Mwale is followed by Or, the L is itself pronounced Or, as in the instant under consideration and in O'Mulryan, a well-known name in Munster, which they now pronounce O'Murryan. Thus, an accidental corruption in the pronunciation of a consonant is taken advantage of to metamorphose a famous old Irish name into a Spanish one. It is indeed most lamentable to see the native Irish think so little of their names and of their own natural country. I have many other instances of this audacious kind of change of surname at hand, but I refrain from enlarging on them from the apprehension of exceeding my limits without being enabled to bring this subject to a close in the stipulated space. A few others, however, are necessary to be exhibited to public scorn. The next instance then, which has come under my notice, is in the province of Connacht, where the family of O'Mulleville have all changed their names to Lavelle, and where those who know nothing of the history of their family are beginning to think that they are of French descent. But it is the constant tradition in the county of Mayo that they are of Danish origin and that they have been located in Yaroli since the ninth century. And this name was the late edition of the Freeman's Journal. A man of great abilities and extensive learning who among other ancient languages, had acquired a profound knowledge of his own native dialect. This name is Scotticized MacPaul in the province of Ulster. Another name which some people are apt to take for a French or Anglo-Norman name is Delaney, as if it were De Delaney. But the Irish, 
origin of this family cannot be questioned, for the name is called Odulaini in the original language. And the family were originally located at the foot of Schliebloom in Upper Ossery. Another instance is found in the change of Odowling to Dulane, but this is seldom made and never by any but people of no consequence. Some individuals of the name of Magunchenen or Magilchenen, upon leaving their original localities in Cavan and Mead, have assumed some the name of Nugent, others that of Gilson. Of this family was Charles Gilson, the founder and endower of the public schools of Oldcastle, a man of great benevolence who found it convenient on his removal to London to shorten his name to Gilson. Other individuals of Irish name and origin upon settling in London and other parts of England have changed their surnames altogether as the ancestor of the present Baron of Lower Tabley and whose name was Sir Peter Byrne, but who was obliged to change his name to Leicester to conform to the will of his paternal godfather who had bequeathed him large estates in England on condition of his dropping his Irish name and adopting that of the testator. He is the most distinguished man of the O'Byrne race now living. And we regret that his Irish origin is entirely disguised in his present name of Warren. He descends from Daniel II of Lachlan Duff of Ballant Ballantlay in the county of Wicklow, a chief of great distinction and is related to the, to the Burns of Fally Beg near Stradbally in the Queen's County, who descended from the first son of this Lachlan. A fact with which his lordship is altogether unacquainted, and the writer of these remarks has often regretted that his lordship has not been made acquainted with the fact, as it might be in his power to serve the sons of the late venerable Lawrence Byrne of Fally Beg. Abbreviation. Other changes have been made in Irish surnames by abbreviation, but though we regret this, we are not willing to condemn it altogether, especially when the changes are made for the purpose of rendering such names easy of pronunciation in the mouths of magistrates and lawyers who could not, in many cases, bring their organs of speech to pronounce them in their original Irish form. Of these, we could give a long list, but we shall content ourselves with a selection. In the province of Connacht, the name Machiochi has been shortened to Machio and latterly to Kyo. O'Mul Conry to Conry and Conroy. In Ossory, Magilla Patrick has been manufactured into Fitzpatrick. In the county of Galway and throughout the province of Connacht generally, Magilla Kelly has been manufactured into Kilkelly. O'Mulali to Lally. Magilla Kenny. To Kilkenny, MacGilla Murray to Kilmurray, MacGilla Duff to Kill Duff, MacGerity to Gerity and Gerty, MacFaudine to Patton, O'Hulahan to Nolan. This last change is not to be excused, for it entirely disguises the origin of the family, and we would therefore recommend the Nolans of the county of Galway to reject their false name and reassume that of O'Hulahan. This family were removed from Munster into Connacht by Oliver Cromwell under the name of O'Hulahan, and they have therefore no just right to assume the name of another Irish family to whom they bear no relation whatsoever. The real Nolans of Ireland are of Leinster origin and were the ancient chiefs of the barony of Fort in the now county of Carlow, anciently called Fohartha Fay, where they are still numerous, but the Connacht Nolans are not Nolans at all, but O'Hulahans, and are a family who bore the dignity of chieftains in ancient times. Though it happens that, not knowing their history, or taking a dislike to the sound of the name, they have, with questionable propriety, assumed the name of a Leinster family, which seems to be somewhat better in modern ears. In the province of Ulster, the name of MacGillaroe has been shortened to Gilroy or Kilroy, MacGillabride to MacBride, MacGillacuskly to Cuskly, and impertinently to Cosgrave and even Costello, MacGillafinnan to Linden and Leonard, 
McGinnis to Ennis and Guinness, McBlosky to McCloskey. In Munster, the noble name of McCarty has dwindled to Carty, a vile change. O'Mul Ryan to Orion and Ryan, McGilla Shinnan to Shannon, McGilla Boy to McAvoy, etc., etc. In Leinster, all the O's and Max have been rejected, and though a few of them are to be met there now, in consequence of the influx of poor strangers of late into the province, it is certain that there is not a single instance in which the O or Mac has been retained by any of the Aboriginal inhabitants of the province. I mean the ancient Irish Leinster, not including Mead. The most distinguished of these was MacMurrow, but there is not a single individual of that name now living in Leinster. The descendants of Donald MacMurrow, Kavanagh, who, although illegitimate, became by far the most distinguished branch of that great family, having all changed their surnames to Kavanagh, and the other branches having, as the present writer has strong reason to believe, changed it to Murphy. The writer has come to this conclusion from having ascertained that in the territory of the Murrows in the county of Wexford, once the county of a great and powerful sept of the MacMurrows, the great number of the inhabitants who are perhaps the finest race of men in Ireland are now called Murphy. He has therefore come to the conclusion, and he hopes not too hastily, that the Murphys of this territory are all MacMurrows. At the same time, however, he is well aware that the name generally anglicized Murphy is not MacMurrow, but O'Murhu, which was that of a branch or offshoot of the regal family of Leinster, who became chiefs of the county of uh, Hufalemi, and whose seat was at Tullo in the now county of Carlow. The writer is well aware that the Murphys of the county of Carlow and Kilkenny are of this latter family but he cannot get rid of the conviction that the Murphys of the Murrows in the east of the county of Wexford are McMurrows. On the subject of the difference between these two families, we find the learned Roderick of Flaherty thus criticizing Peter Walsh towards the close of the 17th century. Quote, an O or a Mac is prefixed in Irish surnames to the proper names of some of their ancestors, intimating that they were the sons, grandsons, or posterity of the person whose name they adopted. But it was not proper to use one name promiscuously in the place of another. As he writes, O Murphy, King of Leinster, instead of Mac Murphy, or rather Mac Murcha, but the family O Murcha, O Murcha, which in English is Murphy, is very different from and inferior to this family, end quote. There are also some few instances to be met with in which the O has been changed to Mac and vice versa, as in the remarkable incidents of O'Melaglin, chief of the Southern O'Neill race, to McLaughlin. Also in those instances in which Duvierma has been changed to MacDermot, O'Donoghue to MacDonough, O'Knaven to MacNevin, O'Herity to MacGerity, and a few others. These latter changes are not calculated to disguise the Irish origin of the families who have made them, but they are still to be regretted as they tend to disguise the origin, the race and locality of the respective families. And we should therefore like to see the original names restored. Similar changes have been made in the family names among the Welsh as Ap John to Jones, Ap Richard into Pritchard and Richards, Ap Owen into Owens, Ap Robert into Probert and Roberts, Ap Gwillam into Williams, and so on and so on. Mm -hmm.